it's important to know the difference between thermoplastic and thermoset. Hammond used both types of plastics in their keys. The thermoset material, thermo being temperature, set meaning that it is a chemical reaction that sets the material. Uh, thermoset material cannot be, the uh, process cannot be reversed. A thermoplastic material the process can be reversed because it is set with temperature. Uh, you could melt the thermoplastic material back down again and reuse it just like they do with milk jugs and that kind of things. Thermo set material, once it's set, it's just like uh, concrete or epoxy. Once that chemical reaction takes place, it can no longer be reversed. It's important to know the difference because if you were to attempt to polish a thermoplastic material, for example with a high-speed buffing wheel or something like that, it would actually melt it and you would ruin your piece. Uh, as well, it is much more prone to abrasion. Uh, it, it's easier to scratch. Okay, the, the, the difference between the processes in these two is that a thermoplastic material is that you will have a cavity in a mold that is the reverse of this and plastic is injected into the mold. A thermoset mold is two halves of a mold that come together. Uh, what they do is they actually pour a powdered material in between those two halves of the mold, put it together, and in heat and pressure it will melt it and form the parts. Once it comes apart, uh, the, uh, the, the flash and everything is, is uh, ground off and you have the finished piece. Uh, so because those processes are different, there are telltale signs on the pieces that you can look at to determine what it is. Uh, if you look on these parts, you will notice that it's smooth on all sides. If you look at these parts, you will notice that on the parts that are visible are all nice and smooth and shiny, but on the back of the part, you will see what appears to be like a break or, or where something might have been attached and broken off, and that is true. The sprue is what was on the back here where the metal was injected into the cavity uh, leaves a, a, an impression on there. So if you look at the back of the part and you see that, you know that you have a thermoplastic part. If you cannot see that, you will have a thermoset part. Same with the white keys. If you look on the back of these white keys, you will notice that there is that telltale sprue sign on the back and on the thermo set material parts, you'll notice that it's smooth all the way around. Another thing that you can look at is on the inside of the part, you will notice that the corners for the most part, inside corners on a thermoset part are usually rounded. You usually do not see any sharp corners on the inside because if there was a sharp corner it's more difficult for the two mold halves to come apart, number one, and number two, that it creates a, a, a section that is more prone to breakage. On a thermoplastic part, you will notice a couple of things inside there. You'll see that hump that runs alongside there. The reason for that is, is when they inject the, the plastic from here, they need a, uh, a, a way for the plastic to get into this part of the cavity uh, before it sets up, so they they maintain a uh, that hump is just to allow more plastic to flow from this end where the plastic is injected to this end where it needs it. You'll also notice that the inside corners are all pretty sharp in most cases, just because the thermal plastic die comes apart a whole lot easier. So, the the lastly, if you just look at the finish of the parts you can see that a thermoplastic part is, is much more uh, uh, glassy looking than the thermoset part. The reason for that is the thermoset part, thermoset material is usually filled with uh, uh, glass fibers or, or some sort of a filler, whereas typically these parts, this type of thermoplastic material is not filled 
although they do fill some this particular type of plastic doesn't appear to have any filler in it so that means that you're not going to get a very glassy smooth finish so if you if you look at the two side by side you can tell that one is much more uh, glassy than the other and you'll probably also see a lot more scratch marks on the thermo plastic parts just because age tends to uh, leave more plastic uh, or more scratches in the plastic Again, if you look at the difference between the two parts here, the thermoplastic and the thermoset, you can see very plainly that the finish on this is much more glassy than the finish on this. So that's pretty much the easiest way to tell is on the back of the part or on a part that's not visible. That's why they chose the back to put the sprue. Uh, you're going to see that, it, that mark, the telltale mark, that means this is a thermoplastic part and this is a thermoset part.